The pandemic has affected our ability to communicate in ways we never expected. In this video, let's explore how we can overcome these challenges and improve our communication skills. My name is Varshit and welcome back to my channel BBR English. Let me start by sharing an inspiring story with you. It's about Sanjana, one of the many students who have benefited from our BBR English live one to one coaching program. Before the pandemic hit, Sanjana was a confident communicator, able to converse with colleagues and vendors with ease. However, when the lockdown started, she like many of us found herself struggling with a lack of human connection and virtual meetings. As a result, her confidence took a major hit. When she finally returned to the work, she found herself struggling to articulate her thoughts and her mind would often go blank. To make matters work, her new supervisory role required her to interact with her counterparts in Canada on a regular basis. Unfortunately, her communication skills had taken such a hit that her colleagues had a hard time understanding her, leading to a further loss of confidence and self-esteem. I know that there are many people out there like Sanjana who have been negatively impacted by the pandemic and are struggling with their communication skills. So in this video, I'm going to share with you seven strategies you can use to improve your spoken communication skills and regain your confidence at work. Let's dive in. Number one, grab every opportunity to speak in the real world. The best way to improve your spoken communication skills is to practice them in the real world. Speak or start a conversation at every chance you get. Even outside formal settings, talk to as many people as possible. Engage in conversations with people, be it your co-passenger in the metro, your neighbors or your local vendors. Get to know them and learn to tell their stories. Imagine you're waiting for your coffee at a coffee shop. Start a conversation with the person next to you and try to find out a common interest. You never know where this might lead to. One way to boost your communication skills is by practicing telling stories in a clear and engaging way. Don't be afraid to use your native language as the confidence to communicate with other human beings is beyond the English language. Number two, practice speaking in the virtual world. The COVID pandemic has changed the way we communicate. Virtual platforms such as Zoom and Google Meet have become the norm. Interacting over these platforms require different etiquettes compared to real world interactions. Therefore, it's important to participate as much as possible in these virtual meetings. Raise your virtual hand when you want to speak or ask questions. Keep yourself on mute when others are talking and utilize the chat box properly. All the virtual meetings come with their own challenges such as the absence of cumulative energy in the room. They offer you an opportunity to connect with people from any part of the world. For example, Sanjana talked to her Canadian team and realized her communication challenges. This allowed her to identify areas of improvement and work on them. Number three, record yourself and listen back. Recording yourself and listening back has an extraordinary advantage. It helps you become more comfortable with your real voice as other people hear it. Once you start to record and listen to yourself, you can pay attention to your tone of voice, pace and volume. This is where you can start to investigate and identify areas for improvement. Number four, focus on your pronunciation. Pronunciation is perhaps the biggest worry among Indians while speaking English. Unfortunately, most of us misclassify our pronunciation mistakes with the wrong accent. But don't worry, it's not about having a wrong accent. Rather, it's about making sure that you pronounce English words correctly with each time you speak them. To improve your pronunciation, start by identifying words that you commonly mispronounce, especially longer words with multiple syllables. Write down a list of 10 of these words, focusing on the ones that you use frequently. Then record the correct pronunciation from the internet onto your phone and listen to them as much as possible. Finally, practice using these words in sentences using real conversations. As you become more confident in your ability to pronounce these words correctly, you will notice that the others around you aren't confused or surprised. This newfound confidence will inspire you to continue improving your pronunciation and expanding your English vocabulary. Remember, there is nothing wrong with having an accent. It's all about making sure that you can communicate effectively in English. Number five, 
listen actively do you want to become a better communicator then listen up because active listening is the key to unlocking the power of communication when we actively listen we don't just hear what others are saying we absorb new information pick up on trends and even learn from their mistakes and let's face it we all make mistakes when we speak whether it's a mispronounced word or a grammar slip up but guess what so do others so why not get over yourself and learn from them remember communication is about about being perfect it's about driving action and making meaningful connections when we show a genuine interest in what others have to say it not only helps us to learn and grow but also helps us to build better relationships with the people around us so what are you waiting for start practicing active listening today and watch as your communication skills soar to new heights number 6 learn from feedback one essential tool that you absolutely cannot afford to overlook while talking your communication skills to the next level that is feedback why is feedback so critical you might wonder well for starters most of us have a blind spots when it comes to our own mistakes that's where other people can help us out by pointing out what we might be missing communication is a two way street we communicate with others and they communicate with us so why not take advantage of this dynamic and seek out help from those around us it's true that showing our mistakes to others can be scary it's also incredibly liberating by opening ourselves to feedback we can take the first step towards growth and improvement additionally not everyone is qualified to give constructive criticism which can make feedback less helpful that's why i highly recommend joining a toastmasters club to hone your communication skills founded a century ago toastmasters is a global organization devoted to helping people improve their public speaking abilities i have personally benefited from the support of my fellow toastmasters and i'm confident that you will too there's likely a toastmasters club in your city and a quick google search can help you find it join a club today and start on the path to becoming a confident and compelling communicator number 7 Get a personal speaking coach. Sure, the tips we have mentioned above can help you improve your spoken English and communication skills, but it's not always easy to stick to them. You might not know where to start or how to measure your progress. That's where a personal coach comes in. Investing in a good coach can do wonders for your confidence and communication abilities. First and foremost, a personal coach will help you set realistic and achievable goals, and most importantly, stick to them. With your coach by your side, you will receive customized feedback that will highlight your unique strengths and weaknesses and help you stay on track towards achieving your goals. A personal coach will also provide you with the emotional support and encouragement you need to stay motivated and engaged in the process. When you hit a rough patch, your coach will be there to pick you up and help you get back on the track. Finally, Your personal coach will te- teach you new skills and techniques that you can use to improve your communication skills in your chosen area. Whether you're looking to ace your next job, interview or deliver a compelling presentation, your coach will provide you with the tools and strategies you need to succeed. Improving your spoken communication skills takes time and practice, but with a personal coach, you'll be able to accelerate your progress and communicate more effectively and confidently in no time. By the way, if you feel the COVID lockdowns have severely hurt your communication skills and it is hurting your self-esteem, causing you to lose wonderful opportunities at workplace, then you might like to explore a private spoken English coach to help you improve with BBR English. If you decide to give us a chance, I will personally ensure you get the best coach who is aligned with your personality and ensure that your communication skills improve within just 15 weeks. In those 15 weeks you will not only be begin to speak fluent english but also turn into the most charismatic speaker at your office to get just started just click on the link in the description box and and we will fix you up with the foundation session till then i will meet you in the next video